so hey guys today we have another lead code problem and the name of the problem is minimum size sub array sum so it's a medium level difficulty problem and it's a good problem actually and let us see what the problem states given an array of n positive integers so the array uh, would contain all the positive integers and has and a positive integer s find the minimal length of contiguous sub array of which the sum is greater than s if there isn't one return zero instead so it's uh, easy to understand we uh, will be given one array okay this is the array given and we will be given a variable s a value s so what we need to do we need to find the sub arrays in this array which has sum of its element greater than or equal to s okay so it is easy as uh, let us see at the nums array you can see that uh, this is a sub array and its sum is 2 plus 3 5 6 7 8 so it uh, its sum is 8 and 8 is greater than 7 so it follows all the conditions but uh, the answer is not 4 because the it is not the answer because we need to return the minimum length okay minimum length of the sub array so i think yeah this is the answer in this case we can see that 4 and 3 add 7 and 7 is equal to 7 and its length is 2 so that is our answer you need to find a sub array that has sum greater than or equal to the given variable s and its length should be minimum so that is the case and it's a medium level difficulty problem but uh, if you consider this it is quite good and uh, how we will approach this problem and how we will solve this problem that is the question so one way can be you find all the sub arrays and their sum and whichever sub array has sum greater than or equal to s then you find the minimum length of all those so this approach is super inefficient so what uh, what we will do we will try to solve it in a linear time complexity so solving it in linear time complexity will uh, we'll follow the approach of using two pointers and it's you know generally the case that thing strikes whenever you encounter a question of sub array kind of question you must think about that approach usually when such questions occur uh, then uh, in which you have to find uh, something related to a sub array you must consider the two pointer approach most of the time it works Okay, not every time so we will also follow that approach only and I'll explain you how are we going to solve it so let's jump on to the explanation part first so how are we going to do this so uh, we'll be solving this question with the help of two pointer okay so the first pointer is the left pointer and uh, it uh, is initially it is pointing at the zeroth index and the right pointer will be our loop variable that is i okay so i will uh, the loop variable i will be our right pointer okay and left is our left pointer and this i have taken this array okay input array and suppose s is 7 in this case so and there is this sum variable it, it will contain the sum of the current uh, sub array okay so initially i'll assign it 0 and I have taken a result variable and it will be our answer so I will store the answer in result variable okay so let us start iterating the array so initially we are at 0th position and the right pointer is indicating at 1 so I will add 1 in the sum so since sum is less than s so we will push the right pointer forward so right pointer will move to here so I'll add 1 plus 3 so sum is 4 now since 4 is less than 7 so I'll push right pointer forward again okay. and I'll add 
it in the sum so now sum is 9 and as we can see that 9 is greater than 7 so we can say that we have encountered a subarray that has sum greater than the given s okay so now is our time to store the value in result because we have encountered a subarray okay so the value of subarray will be the difference of these two pointers okay so uh, the right pointer is that second index so what i will simply do second minus the index of left plus one okay so that is three you can see that the length of this subarray is three so i'll push three in result okay till now we have encountered a subarray that has length three which has some greater than s is equals to seven okay so now as sum is greater than uh, seven so what we do in such case in such case we push our left pointer forward so when we push our left pointer forward we will subtract the value pointed by the left pointer from sum okay as we were uh, seeing uh, so what we will do we will simply subtract the value that is being pointed by the left pointer and that is one so nine minus one is eight and now we will push the left pointer forward okay left pointer is here now now we can see that eight is still greater than seven so this is also a subarray as you can see three and five is a subarray if you see look at this this is a subarray okay and so we will again go to the result variable the right pointer is at index two left pointer is at index one plus one that is two so two is less than three okay so we will update the result variable so now again you can see that sum is greater than s so just the follow these two steps if sum is greater than uh, the s then subtract the value pointed by left pointer and push left pointer forward if the sum is less than s then we push right pointer forward and that is how we are iterating the array so right now it is greater than 7 so i'll have to subtract 3 from it and push the left pointer forward okay so 8 minus 3 is 5 and now our left pointer will be here okay so now as you can see that uh, sum is less than s so it's time uh, to push the right pointer forward okay so right pointer is at here so i'll add two now it is seven now you can see that seven it is equal to seven so in our question it was given that the given subarray should have some greater than or equal to s okay so equal to s that means it is a subarray as you can see 5 and 2 is a subarray so it's time for us to go to the result variable again our right pointer is at location in uh, sorry index 3 left pointer is at index 2 plus 1 so that is 2 but since you can see that the result variable already has 2 so anything that is less than 2 we will enter but if the uh, it has the same number so it doesn't count because we have to give the answer as the least uh, you know uh, the least size of subarray that has some so it already contains 2 so no need so since our value is equal so I will push my left pointer forward okay pushing my left pointer forward left will be here i'll subtract 2 from it now so 7 minus 2 is 5 okay so now 5 is less than s so i'll push my right pointer forward right pointer is here so i'll simply add 5 plus 1 that is 6 now 6 is less than 7 so i'll push my right pointer forward but you can see that we have already treated the array we are on the last element so I will, what I will do, I will simply return the result and result contains 2. So the answer of this problem is 2. But there are, you should know that there are two subarrays that has sum greater than s and both of its length uh, are 2. So it doesn't really matter 
that you are pointing to which sub array because we just have to return the minimum length so the answer is 2 and that is how uh, we are going to approach this problem using two pointers and I have tried my best explaining it hope uh, it is clear now and remaining part will be clear when we'll code okay so let's just jump on to the coding part now and things will be cleared okay so let's start coding now okay so first of all i'll take a n and that will tell me the size of the length okay after that uh, the result variable that will be our answer that is what we are gonna return at last and initially i will assign it a maximum value such that anything less than that will will store it in that okay so max value okay after that i'll initialize our left pointer that will point to the zeroth array uh, zeroth index after that what was it uh, i guess it was some variable okay that will contain the sum of the current sub array and then we we'll iterate through the array i must plus the end plus plus and at the last we will return okay i will write that statement later okay so inside that what we were doing we were simply adding the elements of the array in the sum pointed by our right pointer okay so sum plus comes of i so after that if suppose if uh, the sum if the sum of the current sub array was greater than the s what we were doing i'll write a loop inside this while sum is greater than or equal to s so if the sum was greater than s then it was time for our left pointer and before going to the left pointer what we were doing if the sum is greater than s that means that we have encountered a sub array okay that has value greater than s so it was time uh, for our uh, result variable for storing result so result will be minimum of result plus uh, sorry result comma result comma difference of the two pointers okay so i plus one minus f and after that what we were doing we were simply uh, subtracting the uh, value indicated by by the left pointer and we were incrementing the left pointer okay so subtracting the value pointed by the left pointer would be like this i have subtracted sorry uh, the arrays nums and after that we were incrementing the left pointer okay till this part we are fine and at the last what we were simply doing we were returning uh what we were returning we were returning result okay so now there is this one condition that we will check at the last if our result is not equal to the maximum value that i had assigned okay so we will check i will tell you why are we checking that Okay, I'll use a ternary operator here. If result is not equal, then it's true part. So we'll simply result uh, return result else I'll return zero. So why have I uh, done this? This is because suppose uh, when you iterate the whole array, still you didn't get even one sub array that has value greater than 
s so in that case you need to return 0 so i have checked if suppose the value if suppose the value of result is still this okay that i had assigned earlier that means we never went inside this loop so that would simply mean that we haven't encountered even one sub i so that is why i checked it because we need to return zero here it is return if there isn't one return zero instead so that is why i have written this so this was the question and uh, one important thing some people might think that i told them that we'll solve it in linear problem and according to them the complexity is not linear so you are wrong here because uh, one thing i would like to clarify in general like so whenever we see two uh, two loops one inside the other whatever what we assume is that its complexity is n square and it is no because complexity uh, complexity depends upon the condition at which the loop breaks okay so suppose here uh, the condition is i must be less than n so n is the input size so its complexity is o of n but you can see that in this while loop the condition is different from anything that is related to the input size so it is not the case that we are doing it in o of n square this loops complexity is o of n only okay because uh, some people might confuse in here uh, the complexity is o of n only and let's just run it now Mm, okay everything looks good i hope it runs okay so basic uh, test cases are passed so we'll submit it and okay submitted so this was a very good question and i've tried explaining it uh, very well but i don't know how many of you get it or not but uh, i hope you guys get it and see you in the next video